And it is day three of the George Ellen Kelly trial. He is uh, accused of murdering uh, an undocumented immigrant that was on his property. Uh, that immigrant was found shot to death back in January of last year. Our chief investigative reporter, Corse Nylander, has been covering this case from the very beginning and was inside the courtroom today. He joins us live from the Santa Cruz County Courthouse in Nogales with what was presented in court. Chorus. Hey, well, Sean, I'll tell you, this was by far one of the most important days of testimony we've seen so far in this trial. The jury has now been sent home for the night. Court no longer in session today. I was able to speak with George Allen Kelly for a brief moment as he left the courthouse. Take a listen. Mr. Kelly, anything you wanted to say after uh, testimony today, after court? Well, it was a long day, but I reckon we got to come back tomorrow, so <laughs> see you later. Well, I'll tell you, he's not wrong about it being a long day of testimony. All time today from around 8.30 this morning to uh, even after 4.30 uh, this evening was spent on hearing testimony from a Daniel Ramirez Valera. He's an undocumented migrant that was with the victim, Gabriel Quinn Butamea, uh, when Butamea was shot dead January 30th last year on Kelly's property. Uh, the whole reason for this proceeding, Daniel says he was part of a group of nine people illegally crossing into the U.S. near Kelly's property that day. He says he witnessed Butamea getting shot. He heard the gun fire. Uh, he was very scared, started to flee the scene, jumped over Butamea, and he says he ran back over the border into Mexico to get away from the shooting. Daniel only speaks Spanish and required a trans, <coughs> excuse me, it required a translator to testify today. The state requested at first for all cameras to be cut to protect Daniel's safety, but the judge denied that request. We were able uh, to show his identity today without uh, any issues. The defense clearly tried discrediting Daniel's testimony. They pointed to several discrepancies between his testimony today compared to previous statements he made to investigators and previous testimony in this case. First off, they focus on his name. Today he gave the last name Valera, but previously he went by Daniel Ramirez Ruiz. You're saying now that Daniel Ramirez Ruiz is your real name? Ahora dice que Daniel Ramirez Ruiz es su nombre verdadero. No. No. So that's not your real name. Daniel Alberto Ramirez Varela, that is my full name. And the state pushed back on that uh, by getting Daniel to acknowledge the more than eight previous deportations he's had from the U.S., which they say were done so under the last name Ruiz. Also, Daniel mentioned that Ruiz was placed on Mexican immigration documents he received. He's originally from Honduras, not a legal citizen of Mexico or the United States. The defense also went step by step over just about each and every moment Daniel claims he made before and after that shooting, and his story in several uh, regards seems to change at times. For example, before today's lunch break, he testified about knowing about another person in that group of nine named Ramon. But when questioned again by the defense uh, after today's lunch break, he said he didn't know about a Ramon. They had to take a break uh, just before the end of trial today because Daniel said he wasn't feeling well. He felt like vomiting. He was escorted out about 10 minutes or so. They came back, continued the proceedings not much longer. They ended court for the day. Uh, you could see this lengthy back and forth, and of course, again, with a translator in the middle, uh, seemed to take its toll on some of the jurors. You could see uh, them getting uh, more and more tired. Now, what that means for Kelly, if that's going to work in his favor or against him, remains to be seen. Still a lot more testimony in this case, a lot more evidence to be presented. This is a long one, expected to last three weeks, and it will pick back up here tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning, and we'll be here and keep you updated as this trial moves forward. We're live from Nogales tonight, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. All right, thank you.